Gresham College presents Debussy, Text and Ideas, Introduction, with Paul Archbold, Professor Richard Langham Smith, and Dr. Helen Abbott. Um, hello, I'm, 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 hello. I'm Paul Archbold. I'm the director of the Institute of Musical Research. Um, the Institute of Musical Research is one of ten institutes of the School of Advanced Study at the University of London. And all of the institutes are set up for research promotion and facilitation. So we're interested in taking research from across the UK and also collaborating abroad and bringing this research to an academic audience, um, sometimes in London, sometimes outside of London, but also to a more general audience. And it's therefore a great pleasure to be able to come here to Gresham and to be able to support this, type of, this conference. Um, I myself as well, I'm a composer and Debussy has been one of my favourite composers since childhood and therefore it's a great pleasure that, that, that this, I, I arrived um, as, as director in August to find out that this conference was already arranged and was therefore very keen to support it. So um, I'm very pleased that this is going ahead. Um, if anybody wants to ask me any of things about the Institute of Musical Research later, I'd, I'd be very pleased to let you know. Can I just pass across to... Um, Helen or Dick, Dick, Dick for, 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 for telling us more about today's events. Thank you. Well, thank you very much for those uh, two introductions, <clears throat> both of which I can uh, follow up on in some way, uh, especially because the mission of Gresham College with its idea of disseminating um, what we might call research information to a wider audience is absolutely the buzzword of the moment in uh, what I suppose is a, a, an enterprise by the government itself. That we do not want to be ivory tower scholars, we want to make sure that uh, our research and what we're up to reaches a wider audience. And those of you who are connected with universities will know the word impact as being the uh, main thing for which Brownlee points are now going to be awarded. But that's a very good thing. And there's another thing that we wanted to do with this conference, what was to get rid of the idea that there are two sides to musical study. One, uh, musicologists who only know how to play the record player, and also practical music on the other side who don't want to know anything academic whatsoever but just uh, play. And so we've in embedded into the two days uh, two uh, recitals by up and coming uh, young professional students who happen to have all passed through the hands of the Royal College of Music uh, in some way. And we didn't really want to make those recitals absolutely geared to all the unknown pieces. And when the two sopranos said, I want to sing the early song, Apparition, instead of setting them together with knives to, find, to fight it out as to who would sing it, why not have both? And so we're going to uh, hear that song with the wonderful early setting of Malamé twice. I think I should just mention something about why the conference uh, takes place. It is the 150th anniversary of Debussy, and uh, of Debussy's birth, and it won't be long uh, before we actually celebrate the centenary of his death, uh, three years' time. So he's going to have quite a, a good airing if we can find new things to do. There have already been conferences in Paris and Montreal, and we all say sorry to each other that you might have heard our paper in a previous version somewhere else, not only there but in other conferences. But never mind, I think we've all tried to say something new. Why should we have one in England? Well, I think we have to re remember and pat ourselves on the back that actually um, English enterprises have been very important in Debussy's life. Uh, not only was the premier of uh, Pelias and Melisande sung by uh, um, somebody at least from the UK, if not from England, Mary Garden, but also uh, uh, one of the great interpreters, well, in my view, of a French song was Maggie Tate, who came from somewhere like Huddersfield, I think. Uh, anyway, the interest in song amongst English singers was, um, uh, has been really strong, 
And I think English singers could claim, and American singers, Anglophone singers, let's call them, have been very, very important in the dissemination of the music of Debussy and have formed a particular, um, uh, if we could call it, love for his music. And then Debussy himself, uh, one of his earliest pieces was a setting of Dante Gabriel Rossetti's poem, The Blessed Damozel, which he set in French, and then there is a manuscript where he set it absolutely disastrously in English with the stresses um, all round the wrong way. He also liked Christmas cards from England and sent some to his daughter Shushu. So that is, I think, another uh, important thing. I'm going to hand over um, to Helen Abbott, who has co-organised the concert with me, the conference with me, and she can give you just a little bit of um, something about how the concept of the conference came together. It's true that when Professor Langham Smith emailed me and said, Helen, what do you think about a Debussy conference? I immediately leapt at the idea. But I leapt at the idea precisely because um, in Dick's email he said to me, we need to do something about the text that Debussy set. Um, and Coming from a literary background, if you like, I'm a, a lecturer in French and I'm not in a music department. It's a real opportunity to be able to share my knowledge of French poetry and the text that Debussy worked with, um, with a whole array of top international scholars. We've got people from the US and from France and the UK, the whole uh, right across the UK coming here. And when Dick and I were planning this conference, we started to think a little bit about the type of texts we're working with. Inevitably, poetry springs to mind, a lot of the 19th century big-name French poets. But as you'll see from our conference programme, what we've done with the six session headings is look at the different ways in which text works with music. We're going to be looking at text without text, first of all. We're going to be looking at from text to stage, um, so sort of operatic uh, uh, scenarios, we're looking at text into song, we're also looking at text as performance, how you perform text, not necessarily as song, and some discarded texts um, of uh, projects that Debussy never completed, for example, and then also moving beyond text to some of the ideas and the more uh, visual elements that also intersect with Debussy's music. And those session headings really came about uh, quite naturally when, when you start to think about what uh, Debussy put together. And even better is that when we started to contact um, scholars across the world saying, would you be interested in coming to speak um, at a two-day uh, Debussy conference, the abstracts and the responses and the titles that we received fitted very naturally into the programme that we've got today. So um, it, it's, it's a real um, sort of treasure to have this full array of all um, the textual approaches of Debussy. But also, as Dick mentioned, central to our approach, and I, I hope you will all in benefit from this later on, is also the performance aspect. All of our performers that we're hearing um, tonight and tomorrow evening um, are graduates of the Royal College of Music but also they are long-term collaborators. Um, so the soprano we'll, we'll hear this evening, Sophie Bevan, I've um, been singing with since uh, I think we were about four. Um, so it's really, really nice to be able to bring um, these people together and to exchange um, specialisms. So what I know about French poetry, I'm able to share with people who know far more about music and uh, Debussy's um, uh, on analysing Debussy, then I can possibly do that. And that's the very nature of this conference. Yes, we've got experts, yes, we've got specialists, yes, we've got professional singers, but we're also sharing work that is often quite fresh to us, quite new to us, some ideas that are not necessarily completed. Um, so if you like, the work in progress nature of this. And very much what we're going to be doing is at the end of um, each person's paper, um, we'll, uh, or each session, if you like, we'll have questions. Um, and we invite questions very much from you as well. Uh, including also at the round table uh, just at the end of each day, just before uh, our drinks reception and then our recitals. Please, please um, join in with us. So it's a great pleasure to be able to open this conference and to be able to hand over to our first chair, Milen, who will set um, the academic side in motion. Thank you. For all information, 
please visit www.gresham.ac.uk.